In this video, I'll show you how to choose a USB hub or a dock for your MacBook Air M4. There are many docks on the market, as you see here. I have a few of them. They almost look the same, but they're very different. And depending what you intend to use them for, some of them are trash and you should stay away. So let's get started. The MacBook Air only has two USB type C ports on the side. These are actually Thunderbolt ports, which makes them even more special since they can transfer at a much higher rate than a simple USB-C connector. If you simply want a USB hub to connect a keyboard, a mouse, and maybe another device that doesn't require data transfer, even the cheapest USB hubs like this one, this one I bought it from Amazon I think 10 years ago, that only has USB type A ports, not even a USB type A type 2, I think, will do the job. They're very cheap. You can find them anywhere. Look, this one as well it does not even have a brand. So for everything that is not, it's not about transferring data, these are doing an okay job. The only thing is that these docks, especially old ones, are only USB type A, so you'll need an adapter USB type A to USB type C to be able to connect them. Apple is selling this adapter, but you can find an ch even cheaper one. I'll put a link in the description to get one of these. For that kind of purpose, these are fine. Now, if you're looking to buy a dock to use it with USB drives like this one or hard drives and also have some HDMI ports to connect external monitors to this MacBook since you can connect a few of those external monitors then this is another question. Cheaper USB docks like this one will have a HDMI port and you probably think great I will buy one of these since it has some USB ports and also an SD card reader. The problem with those cheaper ones is that the HDMI port over here is only capable of 30 Hertz. Almost all computer monitors are going to be 60 Hertz or more. If you want to connect a monitor to game on it, well, you need more than 60 Hertz in that case. Gaming monitors are 100 Hertz and more. This one as well is a cheap one and yeah it has good nice ports over here two usb type a usb type c another usb type a card readers and an hdmi but it's very important to check the description of the hub you're gonna buy because again you may be deceived once you plug an external monitor i mean even if you're not gonna game on it you're gonna simply browse the web I think 60 Hertz is the bare minimum these days to have a comfortable experience. This is why I recommend getting a Thunderbolt dock or USB hub, depending how you want to call it, if you want to connect external drives and external monitors. This one is made by Pluggable. I have recommended it through the years. I think I have it for the last two years, three years, and it never failed me. A Thunderbolt dock will always be able to transfer data at a much, much higher rate than any basic ones. They're more expensive and this is the reason. You get also more for your money. Here we can see this USB over here is able to transfer up to 10 gigabytes per second. And same thing with the three other Thunderbolts port over here. You can definitely connect hard drives and the data will be transferred quickly. As you may have noticed, this one does not have any HDMI port. This is because in the box, they include this HDMI to USB um, adapter that you can connect on one of these ports of your choice. These docks also, most of them, requires power to run properly since there's so much data going in it the charger is definitely included in the box over here i have a slightly cheaper one than this but it's thunderbolt as well and uh, yeah again you, you can and this one has a hdmi port and three usb type c ports that they are that are 10 gigabytes per second each for high data transfer and finally, you have these kinds of hubs that are connecting on the side. 
so it's flush it looks better it's more portable some of them will also have an ethernet port which is great if you intend uh, to connect your mac to um, internet using a cable funny enough there is a cutout over here you see so you can put the mac safe you see it does not block the mac safe connector you can simply connect it there so these can be also a uh, alternative although this one is not thunderbolt you're going to connect drives on a daily basis and use them to edit video stuff like that while well, you probably need a thunderbolt um, drive for that anyway let's connect a dock i'll take one of these cheaper ones just for this example and show you how it works on the Mac. On the screen, once you plug it, you're gonna get allow accessory to connect, press allow. Let me close this, open finder. And in finder on the left side over here, you're gonna find the drives that you have connected. If you do not see one, simply unplug it and connect it again. I have connected three drives to this dock and I am gonna see them over here. For now, I only see two. Okay, the third one just appeared. You can click on them and uh, see the folders, the files that are on them. You can then select one, go over here on the top left corner, click edit, copy, go in any folder files on your computer, click edit and paste and you can transfer files this way. If you want to format one of the drives that you have connected to your USB hub, you'll need to go in the launch pad to see all the application that are on your Mac. And on the search bar here, type disk it's, and select disk utility. On the left side, all your drives will be here. And if you want to format one, select it and then press erase give this a new name or keep it the way it is select the format you'll want it to be click erase and it will format your drive once you're done using your dock and um, with the, all the drives connected you need to eject them first before disconnecting press this icon beside every drive that are connected to eject them once they disappeared from the list and from your desktop it simply means you can unplug the dock safely. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. But overall, this is it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Again, I'll put links in the description if you want to get the dock uh, hub. And I'll see you in the next video.